first city ordinance. We are now out of uh, stage two uh, mandatory water conservation into uh, stage one voluntary water conservation. At least two Valley cities are relaxing water restrictions. This because water levels are slightly up in our reservoirs. Those are the current levels for Falcon and Amistad. Together, the average capacity is at 26%. The water restrictions most cities implemented happened because we dipped under 25. Here's Christian Von Pricey. Well, we've gone from very dry in our watershed to now just dry. Historically, we're still in a very bad spot. Falcon Dam, Falcon Reservoir was at a 20 year low this summer and it's gradually recharging with all the rain that we've gotten in our watershed going all the way up to Mexico and Rio Conchos flooding into the Rio Grande. But we still have a long way to go. And the good part of this is that we made it through the summer and now we've got some hope going forward. Looking ahead over the next several months, rain that didn't happen here but ended up flowing into the Rio Grande is making our situation better. Reservoir levels are going back up. Rio Grande City, San Benito removed their water restrictions. You know, the reservoirs at Amistad and Falcon are shooting up. They've gone up considerably over the past several weeks and we continue to expect that to rise. All that from rain and subsequent flash flooding that happened in far west Texas. Fed by the Rio Conchos River in Mexico from rain that didn't happen here, but on the eastern side of the Sierra Madre Occidental Mountains in western Mexico. Rain that made a huge difference. The iconic Santa Elena Canyon in Big Bend National Park dry throughout the summer. Now we're at the point where we're bank to banks. The Rio Grande in that region full once again. And that water is headed this way. But what will happen this fall and into next year? And the resumption of higher evaporation during late winter and early to mid spring due to warmer and drier forecast temperatures, as well as below average rainfall, is likely to see the levels begin to decrease slowly at that point in time. National Weather Service meteorologist Barry Goldsmith saying we're likely to lose some of what we have now in reservoir levels as months go on. But looking forward, the IBWC is cautiously optimistic. Things have improved. I'm not going to say that, you know, the drought is over, it's resolved. The international reservoirs are still low and they're still going to be lower than they were in the past. The agency and officials in the valley still asking the public to conserve. If there's ways to save water, do it. For instance, you know, don't water during the hottest times of the day. Uh, don't let water run into the streets. Our water supply improved, but still not guaranteed. Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News.